So, so far about nine miles into the Burning River 50 miler. Um, feeling really good. Good times. I'm around 12 miles in so far. Uh, just left the Polo Fields Aid Station. I gotta say, the Goss Brothers provided excellent service. Feeling great. Um, saw Sanchez pulling out on the way out of here. And apparently Monica's about 20 minutes ahead of me, so she really shredded the road section up. Well, looks like we're almost 17 miles in. Been an absolute pleasure so far. At this point though, I'm not sure where that next aid station is and I'm running a bit low on water. So, well, we'll see how this pans out. I still have water. I know I'll meet up with Don again at mile 22, but five miles on this much, well, on the positive note, met some amazing people. Um, just having a really good time out here. The shade is keeping things nice and cool, and as it heats up throughout the day, the relative humidity will be dropping. Bonus. Well, I'm gonna keep running here. The look out. About 20 miles in, 30K down, 50K to go. I was starting to drag there for a little. Then that last aid station, a quick little break, some cold water, some peanut butter sandwiches, chips. Yeah, I ate way too much. Next aid station's only three miles away. Day 47. Sun's beating down. And the other people out here are starting to look. Cannibalism is likely. So I just departed the Egbert uh, aid station and spa. I'm gonna call it a spa because it was awesome. Just plain awesome. There was all kinds of food. Uh, hard boiled eggs at Egbert. So I had one of those, had some pickles, maybe some chips, tiny bit of Coke, got topped off on water and tailwind from uh, Don and Jerry. Um, Forgot Jerry's name as I was coming into the aid station. Had a space cadet moment. Sorry, Jerry. Uh, what else? Water baths. They had a big old tub full of ice water and sponges. Clean yourself off. And uh, I filled up my little uh, bandana here. Miranda gave me uh, since I lost my buff on the trail. Filled it up with ice. Yeah, going the right way. And uh, good times, very good times. Although, eating all that food also meant that within, oh, less than half a mile from leaving the aid station, all the blood is busy working in my stomach and uh, not working in my legs. So, I'm gonna walk for a little bit. I stopped and did some stretching. Uh, had a, you know, my interior, uh, Kind of groin muscle coming down on my left leg it's trying to seize up cramp up on me so i stopped put some pressure on it and then walked a little bit slow gave it a nice uh, little stretching and then a little light running feels good my stomach is a mess though but hey you live and you learn that food was delicious it was worth it Okay, got 50k in, over 2,100 feet in elevation. Uh, yeah, let's see, it's 1.30, and uh, got about 7 hours and 23 minutes into this race. Um, there's that saying about the wheels falling off. They're not quite off yet, but uh, things are definitely slowing down here. Feel the threat of some cramping. Starting to walk a lot more. Definitely slowing things down a bit. But when I feel good, I'm walking, I'm running, and uh, all in all, I'm pretty happy with how things are going. Done a couple stretches, uh, no cramping from the stretches, that's a good sign. And a list of the wild trail turkey, I just drank my first cup of pickle juice at a race.
Peace out. Well, I'm on the Buckeye Trail, about 37, almost 38 miles in. Um, I had about 2,300 feet of climbing. And uh, I'm definitely tired, like really tired and hungry. But my muscles are feeling half decent. Fatigued, but I felt worse. Uh, playing times and races so That was a big hill climb too. that probably didn't help matters But uh, less than a half marathon left to go and uh, Vistas How to be coming up on an aid station with Jerry and Don somewhere in the next mile or so. So that'll be good, I'm almost out of water. <clears throat> that mental clarity that I had a few miles ago has faded away. I picked up some time on the flats of the towpath. Uh, my pace definitely improved. My average is uh, hovering below 14 minutes a mile so far, which uh, I'm really happy about. I did not expect to be here this late in the race. Um, guess that's about it. That towpath is a beast. Just boiling out in the sun, flat. Mostly flat, some slight grades. Think rails to trails if you're uh, familiar with those. Anyway, time to get to that aid station. Mile 40. I just passed a pavilion where people were picnicking. I can still smell the food in the air. I seriously entertain the notion of running by, stealing a plate of food, and vanishing into the forest. I cannot wait to do some serious eating. And it's only 10 miles away. Pay dirt! We're in the home stretch. Uh, just left the Oak Grove 2 aid station, and uh, my Garmin says I'm about 43.6 miles in. Uh, the official tally says about a mile less than that. Either way we shake the dice, I got less than 8 miles left in this thing. Uh, much in true fashion like it seems to be, after I left the aid station, I walked for a bit thinking, you know, I should warm back into it after sitting down for a moment or so and eating something. Uh, and then I started running when I hit the trail a couple hundred yards away. And lo and behold, that muscle that tightened up back on the uh, Buckeye Trail locked right back up again just about. Um, I was able to catch it before it went into full spasm, apply pressure, uh, do a little stretching, and right now I'm walking comfortably, which is better than a few minutes ago. So, uh, what will probably happen here is, let's see, it's about 4.43. Slowly I'll be able to run short spurts on flat and down hills, and then uh, full motion will return as everything warms up and loosens back up. Um, so, hopefully that happens sooner than later. Getting to the end of this. Uh, uh, miles, all oh, the miles. <laughs>